Hey, everybody, this is Kevin Knevel in beautiful Monument, Colorado at 7,500 feet of elevation. And thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to tune in to this webinar on behalf of Schweike Business Builder webinar series. It's been an honor over the last, oh, I don't even know how many years now, that uh, the relationship that I have with David and Steve and the folks at Schweike, what a wonderful organization. And we've created uh, a tremendous number of videos on different ways that things like LinkedIn and Twitter and social selling and relationship marketing can be used in your business. So it's been a great relationship and it continues to be a great relationship. So make sure after you get done watching this video that you go watch some of the other videos that are in the archive and in the library. So today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about LinkedIn advertising. Now, this is actually a feature that many people just really don't fully understand. I'll also tell you up front that it is a feature that's currently undergoing a lot of changes. So LinkedIn is constantly changing how the platform works. And ironically, <clears throat> I know I probably shouldn't say this on a recording, but today is LinkedIn's 13th birthday. So today, is actually Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May, 2016, and LinkedIn was launched on May 5th, 2003, 13 years ago today. Who would have thought? So LinkedIn is now officially a teenager, which means it, it you know, yells at you and it talks back and it doesn't listen to a thing you say. That's how teenagers are. And ironically, I got on LinkedIn within 60 days of the launch, way back in July of 2003, so I've been using this platform for almost 13 years. Crazy. So. LinkedIn's advertising uh, platform is really underutilized by a lot of people. Now, I'm going to tell you up front that if you choose to do some of the things that I'm about to show you, that this is not a free feature of LinkedIn like many of the features on LinkedIn. We're talking about advertising, and advertising costs money. And the response that a lot of people have is, well, you know, you know LinkedIn advertising, Kevin, it's kind of expensive. And on one hand, I agree with that. It is more in a you know pay-per-click or pay-per-impression kind of cost versus some other platforms. But when I show you some of the things I'm about to show you, you may change your mind on that. You may say, you know what, for the, for the targeted ability to reach with a laser-like precision the type of individual or organization that I'm looking to reach, Actually, I believe that LinkedIn's advertising is not overpriced at all. I think it's very fair for the ROI. But as in all forms of advertising, you're going to have to play around with it and kick the tires and see if it makes sense for you. So right now you're looking at my LinkedIn profile. And if you and I are not already connected on LinkedIn, please feel free to send me a LinkedIn invitation and mention that you heard me or you saw me on this lush, likey webinar series. So on the right-hand side of my page here, you see at LinkedIn advertisements. And the thing you need to understand is that these advertisements, this professional MBA, trainer, organizational leadership thing, these advertisements are not accidentally on my page. LinkedIn is a database, 420 million users worldwide, two to five new users per second. And when you think about it, it's the world's largest Rolodex, meaning it has basically the resumes of 420 million people, including where work history, skill set, where, what they like to do on the weekends, whatever somebody's willing to put on their LinkedIn profile is effectively in the LinkedIn database. Well, if you understand that, from an advertising perspective, that's a gold mine. Because if you're looking for people that went to Rutgers that are now CFOs within 20 miles of Tulsa that have the word fly fishing in their LinkedIn profile, and I just pulled that out of the air, you can literally target that specific segment. So these ads that you're seeing on my page here, it's no accident that these are here. Whoever created these ads wanted to find people with receding hairlines and big noses within about 50 miles of Denver. I'm just playing around. I'm, well, I'm not. I mean, I do have a receding hairline and a big nose. But um, if you were to open up your LinkedIn account, you probably wouldn't see these ads on the side of the page because you're not me. You're in a different part of the world. You're probably in a different industry. You know, who knows? So there's ads on the right-hand side of the page. But if we go to my home page, LinkedIn also does something called sponsored content. Now, sponsored content, and there again, there's the ads. Sponsored content is just a fancy word for advertising. So this here, sponsored. 
This is an advertisement that this company, DemandWave, paid LinkedIn whatever they paid them to put this into my newsfeed. Now, again, it's not showing up in everybody's newsfeed, but it's, I, I am apparently fitting the profile of the type of person that, link, that, that demand wave is looking for. So again, you might open up your LinkedIn account and never see this ad, because maybe you don't fit into that category, and I probably wouldn't see the ads that are showing up in your newsfeed. So here I can see, obviously, the LinkedIn newsfeed is your connections and their status updates, but then you're also going to see sponsored content. Now you need to know that if you choose to go down this road of advertising and sponsored content, one of the subtle differences, although it's a big difference, is that these are ads. They're not inter I mean, I can click on it and go someplace, but there's not a like or a comment or a share button here. Over here, on a sponsored content, there is a like, a comment, and a share. So you can see that Demand Wave posted this, and 422 people have hit the like button and 15 people have commented. Well, let me just point out something really obvious, but as obvious as it's going to sound, I'm going to tell you, I can't, I can't believe how many people never pick up on this. If I was demand wave, and I can see exactly who these 422 people are, this is not anonymous, you better darn well believe that if I were demand wave, I would be reaching out to those individuals individually and saying something like, hey, I noticed that you clicked the like button on our sponsored content. We're all about paying it forward, and we'd love to prove it to you. How can we help or serve you in some way? There must have been a reason why you clicked the like button. So all I would want to do is start a conversation. So let's go up here to the top of the page. Let's go to business services, and let's go to advertise. Now, again, LinkedIn is constantly changing how this works, and I don't really teach by death by PowerPoint. I do things in real time because I'm a big believer that the worst way in the world to teach somebody how to ride a bike is to show them a PowerPoint presentation on how to ride a bike. But the best way is to put them on the bike. So I'm just showing you that if you want to take the time and you want to dig into success stories, marketing solutions, there's video tutorials in here. There's all kinds of information that will help you with this, okay? So let's just move along very quickly. And I'm not going to click on any of that right now. But let's just go to text and image ads, because I just want to, knowing this is a very brief webinar, I just want to go through this very, very quickly. So again, there's a lot of ways that LinkedIn can hold your hand and walk you through this. I'm just giving you a fast, dirty version of it right now. So if I go to create an ad, it's good, first it's going to ask me to log into my LinkedIn account, right? But now I'm logged into my LinkedIn account. But now I can actually create an ad. Now, they've actually changed this <laughs> since the last time I logged into it. So I may or may not be able to actually do this. Let's just kind of see what happens. Uh, oh, it's asking me to update my credit card because I just got a new credit card. Oh, this is great. So I'm recording a video right now, and it's not allowing me to get to the next step. But that's okay. What I really want you to see is that, and I'm going to take you through this verbally, okay? And I don't think it necessarily needs you to see. You don't need me to show you how to do the next couple steps because you could easily do this. So I'm just going to go back to the LinkedIn ad. And what I'm going to verbally walk you through for the next minute or two is that if I want to create the ad, LinkedIn is going to start by just asking me to create a simple ad. And again, the ad is going to be very, very brief. So let me just go back to my LinkedIn homepage. It's only going to give me X number of characters. It's only going to give me X number of characters in the headline. Okay, So that will take no more than 30 seconds to do that. And then LinkedIn would ask me, do you want to upload a picture? So these organizations have uploaded these pictures. So I could upload a picture, I could upload some, some wording, and I could upload a title, and then the next thing I would do would be to create a link so that when people click on the ad, it's either going to take them to my LinkedIn profile, if I select that, or maybe it's going to take them to my website. So you have complete control over where people are going to go when they click on the ad. Maybe you want to go to you want them to go to a landing page where they have to input their first name, their last name, their email address so that you can gather that for marketing purposes. So it's really up to you where you want them to go. But once you get past that, then LinkedIn's going to start asking you the very specific questions like who do you want to see this ad? And it's going to allow you to look at the entire world 
Well, just for the sake of argument, let's say you're a financial advisor in Denver, Colorado, and you're looking for more clients in the Denver area. Well, you don't really have any interest in having your ad go to China or Switzerland or Miami, so you have the ability to target based on zip code, you can drill down into that. So once you select that, it's then going to ask you, okay, what type of people do you want to see the ad? And it's going to give you some selections in terms of job title, industry, work experience. So again, it gets very, very granular where you can select, I just want CFOs within 20 miles of Denver, or I just want lion tamers within 100 miles of Boston, whatever it is you're looking for, and you put that in there. And then it's going to ask you to go even deeper. So again, knowing that this is a brief webinar in the Schweike webinar series, I'm not going to get into every nuance of that, but when you go through that process, it's going to get very, very granular, and then at a certain point, it's going to tell you, okay, there are whatever. 2,523 people that fit this parameter in your targeted area, or there are 2 million people that fit this parameter in your targeted area, whatever that is. And then LinkedIn's going to say, okay, would you like to choose pay-per-click or pay-per-impression? Now, I don't claim to be an expert on that kind of stuff, but my friends who typically are experts on that kind of stuff tell me to go for pay-per-click. But I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just letting you know you have the option. But if you went for pay-per-click, then right now I'm looking at these ads, but these people are not being charged for me to look at the ads. They will only be charged if I click on the ad. So let's charge these people a dollar or two. I'm going to click on the ad. Let's see where it takes me. And here, here is my proof of everything I just told you. It's taking me to a landing page where I can download. And in order to download, if I click download right now, I'm not going to do it for the sake of time, but it would probably ask me to enter my first name, last name, email address. So they can gather that, mar that marketing material, and then I can download their report. So this is whoever VeloSoft, or whatever their name is, VeloSoft, whoever they are, they created this simple landing page for me to download their whatever that is that I'm interested in, right? So, and they would probably get charged, I don't know, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever it is, LinkedIn is going to tell you before you create the ad, before you get to the final step where you input your credit card information, LinkedIn's going to say, you know, we're going to charge you, let me just pick a number, $2 every time somebody clicks on the ad. And you're going to either agree to that or not agree to that, or you're going to negotiate. You do have a little bit of room to negotiate with LinkedIn too. And then you also set the parameters where you control the budget. So you say, okay, I'm willing to spend $2 per click, but I'm only willing to spend up to a maximum of, let's say, $20 per day. So basically, you know, do the math. You're saying if 10 people a day click on my ad, the ad will shut off because it knows that my budget is $20, and it will shut off until tomorrow morning at 12.01 a.m. And I can set the duration of the ad. I could say I only want this ad to run for 30 days. So the simple thing I want you to take away from this, folks, is that you have complete control over the budget, over the spend, over the duration, and then LinkedIn will give you the marketing data of the people that click on the ad. LinkedIn will not give you the names of the people, but it will tell you. In the last seven days, 18 people have clicked on your ad of the 18 Ten of them were women, eight of them were men, six of them were in this zip code, five of them had this job title. So from a marketing perspective, the data that LinkedIn supplies you with is very, very effective because you can really see, oh, wow, we're really getting through to this particular demographic. So that's all I'm really going to say, folks. I'm going to wrap this up in the next minute or two. LinkedIn's advertising platform is highly, highly effective if you're using it in a very sophisticated manner the way I'm showing you. Now, when this is new, the first time you're doing this, I think LinkedIn gives you $50 in free advertising credit. So really, you can kind of test drive it for free to begin with. And as time goes by, you can just refine it and get better at, at creating ads, looking at the data. Most people at this point in time, are really not familiar with how sophisticated this platform really is. 
more people are becoming familiar with it because LinkedIn just had to openly disclose their, you know, their annual report, and more people they're deriving more revenue from their advertising platform. But you're still watching this video at a point in time where this is relatively still new, and you kind of have first mover advantage if you take advantage of it. So it's my belief that LinkedIn's advertising platform is extremely effective when it's used in an effective manner. So play around with it. As we wrap up, I'm Kevin Knebel. I'm an international speaker, author, coach, and consultant. I speak all around the world on a weekly basis. I speak in about one city per week all around the world. I've helped organizations generate billions of dollars in sales, referrals. I was the top salesperson in the world for four companies before I became an international speaker years ago. So I have a deep background in sales and a deep background in social selling. Please feel free to go to kevinkenevel.com, subscribe to my free weekly newsletter that's full of content that will help you in your business on a weekly basis. Please feel free to go back and look through my newsletter archive, which has hundreds of newsletters full of content for free that will help you. If I can ever help you in any way, reach out to me. Shoot me an email. Give me a phone call. Send me a message on LinkedIn. I am here to serve you. Please feel free to join my cocktail party on Facebook. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'll follow you back. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back, my YouTube channel. I just want to say thank you to Schweiki because Schweiki is a wonderful organization. They deliver so much value to the marketplace. And um, what an archive of content, not only my content, but the other subject matter experts that they have on any of a number of different topics. So you're in good hands with Schleiki, and I hope you've learned some things here today about LinkedIn's advertising platform. If I can ever help you in any way, I'm a phone call or an email away. And I want to say on behalf of Schleiki Business Builder Webinar Series, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your interest. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.